This video is going to talk about dynamic email content blocks. So we have another video that talks about dynamic web content blocks. This uh, video is going to focus specifically on dynamic blocks in emails. So the, the concepts are identical where it's basically we have a piece of content that we want to basically uh, adapt to uh, a, a specific context. And the context here is going to be related to a recipient of a specific email. And there's lots of examples for this. Like for example, uh, let's say I have a, uh, a specific footer or something like that that's related to a uh, favored location, or maybe I have an offer that I'm going to embed on all my emails, but the, the offer is gonna vary based on uh, based on the location, or maybe I want to abstract the offer from my emails and I just go in and update the offer once in a while, then any emails that go out are, uh, this is all basically abstracted from it. So that's sort of the concept, but uh, really it's this layering of content uh, with a dynamic content block for emails that's uh, really the solution. So we do have this uh, concept of conditional send, which allows you to stack a whole uh, different versions of an email and target the individual emails. Um, but again, this one is really just about a specific piece of web uh, email content. So we have dynamic web content blocks, uh, and, and now I'm going to introduce dynamic email content blocks. And why is there a difference between the two? And it really comes down to the back end. Uh, for the dynamic web content blocks, uh, you have a lot more available to you because it actually is going to be rendered uh, on a web page. So you have lots of CSS and JavaScript and all this stuff to adapt uh, the, the block and make it style and, and uh, behave like any regular piece of HTML. Whereas with emails, we're limited because typically uh, emails are a uh, lot simpler. There's not custom G uh, JavaScript that is going to be embedded into the email. There's a lot of security things, etc. So that's why there's really these two different systems in active demand, one for email and one for web content. So to get to your dynamic content, you go into assets, dynamic content. This is where the web content is, which the other video covers. This is where you'll see your email content. And uh, what I'm going to do with this example is I have custom fields in my account set up to be uh, preferred location. And what I'm going to do is in my email uh, and several emails, I'm going to embed an offer in the email that is uh, varies by location preference. So I go over to my dynamic content, dynamic email content, create a new block. So it's fairly simple. Now the builder that you're presented here with is actually the same builder as the email builder. So your content blocks, your uh, saved blocks, uh, rows, all of this stuff is uh, directly from and should reflect what's in the email builder. And the content, the styles, this type of stuff is all going to be related directly to uh, working with, with emails. So with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed an image and the image is going to be my uh, offer. Similar to dynamic content blocks on the web, uh, email dynamic content blocks, there's going to have to be a default version. And just in case the queries fail, there has to be some type of content that's displayed. And if you want the default to be nothing, then literally you just uh, create a block with, with no content. But in this case, I'm, I'm confident I'm going to say, you know what, the default's going to be this offer and uh, the other people who are in the different location, we're going to give them uh, a separate offer. So I'm just going to create a alternate version on this. I'm just going to use the same block as my uh, template here. So now what I'm going to do is just get rid of this image and uh, basically embed another image. So now I have two versions. One is going to be uh, East Coast, the other one's going to be West Coast. And now what I'm going to do is set up my query right here. So here I'm just going to do it based on location. And this one is my East Coast. This version will be shown to people who match 
this query here. And the people that don't match the query will see the other version. And so basically now we have a stack of two. And then I'll go back to my email. I'm going to put my offer right in here. And so what I'm going to do is just delete this block here. And if you look along the right menu, we have dynamic email content as an option. I'll find this, take my location offer, drag my location offer in here. And it's going to show the default version. Now, this was done as an email template. And now what happens is, is I can use this email. I send this email to, in my campaigns or what, whatever, whether it's in an autoresponder or drip campaign or, or really doesn't matter. What's going to happen is when this email's sent, just before it's sent, the system will look at the query associated with this specific block and how it relates to the contact that the email is going to be sent to, it will embed the appropriate content. And I can style this block just like any block, and uh, I can style the row. It's just a regular block within the email. And uh, I can click here to edit it, which will, of course, bring up the dynamic content block editor in another window, and uh, uh, I can adjust it, etc. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, is uh, I can take this uh, block and embed it in any of my emails, whether it's a footer or it's a, as you're seeing here, is a column. Um, and really, uh, we just let the system decide uh, who is going to see which version. So that's it. That's very simple. Uh, dynamic content blocks in, uh, e in emails.